another online math class. This video will be about bearings. And by the end of this lesson, our goal is to understand how true bearings are measured and written, be able to state a true bearing and its opposite, and finally be able to apply this to word problems. Let's just pause the video here and take a couple of minutes to write these down. So starting off with true bearings, these are measured clockwise from due north. So due north is up the top right there, and clockwise is going around that way. So it's measured in that direction. And true bearings, as you can see on the diagram, they are measured using three digits and opposite directions differ by 180 degrees. So having a look at this diagram, what this is saying is the bearing of this point, northeast, is 45 degrees from north. So it's saying that angle there is 45 degrees. This one here, that's saying the bearing of east from north will be 90 degrees. So that's how we're reading this. And the second point opposite directions differ by 180. If you compare those two, if I do 225 minus 180, that will give me 45. If I did 315 minus 180, that will give me 135. So we can see if they're directly opposite, they're going to differ by 180 degrees. All right, so that's the basics of how bearings work. Let's go through a couple of questions now. So this question says A, B, C, and D are four points as shown. We can see that on the diagram. Give the true bearing of each point from the origin in this diagram. So the origin is just there and it's pointing north. So we want to find out the angle between each point and north. So starting with point A, it's there. We're after that angle there. So we know this is going to be a right angle. So I can find that out by doing 90 minus 35. So 90 minus 35 will give me this angle there and I'll just write that down 90 minus 35 and that will give me an angle of 55 degrees I'll just write that there and because it's a true bearing I need to write 55 degrees T T for true just make sure you put that in your answers all right for point B so that's just over here I'm trying to find the angle from that north line to B there so I know that uh, north to east is going to be 90 degrees so I can find that out by doing 90 plus 45. So that's gonna be 90 plus 45. And if you chuck that in your calculator, that will give you a value of 135 degrees. And make sure you put T to show that it's a true bearing. All right, point C now, that's towards the bottom left over here. I'm trying to find that angle there. And instead of trying to add everything here, we're just gonna do a little bit of a shortcut. We know from north to west, that's gonna be 270. So I can do 270 minus that 30 there to get that bearing because that's 30 degrees so it's 30 degrees off being 270 so i can do 270 minus 30 that gives me a bearing of 240 degrees true and the last one the bearing of d i'll just write that there so d is on the top left there so this one if i do a full revolution that'll be 360 and it's just shy of 360 but we don't know how far off it is. So I, once again, I know that's 270. So I can find that out by doing 270 plus 70. Because 270 all the way from north to west and it's 70 degrees more than west. And that will give me a value of 340 degrees true. All right, now let's try question B. It gets a bit harder here. I've got the true bearing of O from A. So this means I'm starting at point A, I'm facing north from point A, and I'm trying to get to the origin. So I'm after that angle there. It doesn't mean this angle all the way like that. That's not the case. That is a common question I do get. It's actually, I'm starting at point A, looking directly north from point A, so I can draw that in with the line. And I'm trying to find the angle from point A all the way to the origin, and that's my origin there. And to work that out, I know that this is going to be 180 degrees. That's going to be 180. So I need to add something to 180. I'll just write 180 first. And this little angle here, you might think it's 35, but that's actually not the case. That angle is 35. And we found out before that this angle was 55. I'm just going to draw only those in just so it's a bit clearer. So I've got point A here. I've got that line going north and I've got O there we found out that this was 55 degrees before. I know that this angle is 180 degrees there. So if you have a look at this, these two are parallel lines because they're going straight north. And if you remember from previous years, geometric reasoning, you should remember that these are alternate angles. And if they're alternate, they are the same. So that's gonna be 55 degrees there as well. So to find 
the bearing of O from A, it's going to be 180 plus 55 degrees. So add those two together and that will give you a value of 235 degrees true. So that is how we work that one out. All right, let's try part B now. Part two, sorry, O from D. I'll just rub that out there at the top. So O from D. So D, I'm starting here. And this time I'm going, I'm facing that way. I'm trying to find that angle there. So I'll draw that out for you guys again here. That's D. That should be going straight up. And I'm going that direction like that to O there. All right, so I'm going to draw my north line here as well there. And I'm trying to find that angle. In the previous question, we found out what that angle was. And that was this part here, the bearing of D from A. We found out that this whole thing was 340, so that has to be 20 degrees. We found that out there before. So that means this is also going to be 20 degrees. I'll just put an arrow showing that. So that's 20 degrees there, just so you can see that. And these, if they're parallel lines, which they are, because they're both going straight north, that means these are co-interior angles. Once again, geometric reasoning again from the previous years. That means they're going to add up to 180. So uh, something plus 20 equals 180. So that means that has to be 160 degrees. So just writing that in, I'll call the bearing, let's just call it X for now. So it'll be X plus 20 equals 180. So therefore X will be 160. So the bearing of O from D is going to be 60, 160 sorry, degrees true. All right, now it's your turn. Have a go at these ones by yourself and just unpause the video when you're ready to go through it with me. All right, so this first one, give the true bearing of each point from the origin. So that's my origin there, going straight north. So I'm gonna try and find A first. So A, it's gonna be 90 minus 30, which gives me a value of 60 degrees true. Let's go to point B. Point B there, it's going to be 90 plus 50, which gives me 140 degrees true. Question C, I'm going all the way around there. So that one will be 270 minus 20. That gives me 250 degrees true. And question D, it's all the way there. It's going to be 270 plus 40. And that gives me 310 degrees true. Right, so give yourself a tick which one you got correct there. If you're struggling, just let me know in the Google Meets. Otherwise, let's go to question B. So the bearing of O from A. So I'm, I'll draw that in there again. So it's straight up there. So I'm trying to find that angle there. So the bearing of O from A, that's going to be, once again, I know this is 180. So it's going to be 180. Plus, I found that this out before. It's going to be 180 plus 60. That gives me a value of 240 degrees true. So that's B part one. And part two, I'm going O from D. So I'll draw that line in there. I'm trying to find that angle here. So this is going to be 90 plus, not 90 plus, sorry. We found out that this was 50 before from this one because that's 310. So there's 50 degrees left to uh, 360. So that's going to be 50 plus something gives me 180. So X or that bearing needs to be 180 minus 50, which gives me 130 degrees. So for question two, the answer is going to be 130 degrees true. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. All right, moving on, let's have a go at this one. A ship travels due south for five kilometers, then on a bearing of 120 degrees for 11 kilometers. All right, so if we start drawing that, we're going to start drawing a diagram. So the ship travels south five kilometers, going down for five kilometers there. So from this point, when we're facing up, it's going to travel on a true bearing of 120 degrees. So that's going to be somewhere around there. Let's say somewhere around there. It doesn't have to be completely accurate. And that's roughly what it will look like. And in that direction, it is traveling for 11 kilometers. So I'll write 11 kilometers there. And we're trying to find how far the ship has traveled from its starting point. So it's asking how far east it is from the starting point. That's the key point there. So if you remember your uh, compass, it's north, east, southwest. So we're trying to find out how far to the right it's gone. So if I draw in a diagram, I'm after that distance here. Just that distance. Because that distance is the same as that distance. 
and I can get a triangle there to help us work it out with trigonometry. So that will be a right angle. So if that's 120, that means this has to be 30 because that is a right angle there. So that will be 30 degrees. Using that information, I can find out that length. I'll call that X. So I've got the, that's the opposite. I don't care about what the opposite is. So that means I've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So I'm using cos cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. I know the angle is 30. The adjacent is X. That's what I'm after. And hypotenuse is 11. Once I've got that, I can get X by itself. That gives me 11 times cos 30 equals X. And that gives me a value of 9.53. So your final answer for this, that is the distance. That'll be 9.53 kilometers. Final answer will be the ship is 9.53 kilometers east of its initial position. So that would get you four marks for question A. And part B, find how far south the ship is from the starting point. So south, that's going down. So how far down has it gone? So I'm after somewhere down here. So to get that this time, I'll call this one Y. I can do five plus Y, and that gives me how far south the ship has traveled. So in this case, I could use sine sine here because that's the opposite and that's the hypotenuse. So I would use sine 30 equals the opposite, which is Y over the hypotenuse, which is 11. Once I've got that, I can rearrange it. That becomes Y equals sine 30 times 11. And then chuck that into your calculator and that will give you a value of 5.5 kilometers. However, that's not my final answer there. That's just this length to get the total kilometers of how far south it's traveled. I need to add this to that. So that'll be 5.5 plus five and that gives me 10.5 kilometers south. So yeah, final answer in words could be something like the ship is 10.5 kilometers south of its initial position. All right, now it's your turn. Pause the video here, have a go at these by yourself and just unpause it when you're ready to go through it with me. All right, so this one, let's start drawing the diagram again. The tra ship travels south for eight kilometers. So it's very similar to the one we just did. And then on a bearing of 160 degrees for 12 kilometers, that will look something more like that. So that's 160 degrees and that will be 12 kilometers. So once again, find how far east the ship is from the starting point. So that's that way there. So I'm trying to find that length, let's call it X. And because that's east, that's 90 degrees, this has to be 160 minus 90. That means this will be 70 degrees here. So to find out X or how far east it's traveled, you could do adjacent and hypotenuse. So cos 70 equals adjacent, which is X over hypotenuse, which is 12. So X is cos 70 times 12. And then just put that into your calculator and it gives you a value of 4.10 kilometers. So in words, that will be something like the ship is 4.1 kilometers east of its initial position. And part B, how far south has the ship traveled? So try and find this one. I'll call it Y. That's the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine, sine 70 equals opposite Y over hypotenuse 12. So Y is going to be sine 70 times 12 and then just pop that into your calculator and it gives you a value of 11.28 kilometers so that's th that distance i'm trying to find the total uh, south that went so from that point i need to add eight then so that gives me plus eight that will give me 19.28 kilometers so your final answer could be something like the ship is 19.28 kilometers south from its starting point all right so that brings us to the end of this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys all back online